السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو میک اے ریویو فار اے ویری یوزفل ملٹی میٹر دیٹ از ایم ٹی ون ٹو تھری ٹو اٹ از فرام پروسکٹ فسٹ آف آل آئی ایم ناٹ پروموٹنگ اینی پروڈکٹ آئی ایم جسٹ شیئرنگ مائی ایکسپیرینس بیکاز آئی فاؤنڈ اٹ ویری یوزفل ملٹی میٹر اٹ کین میئر ڈی سی وولٹیج اے سی وولٹیج ڈی سی ایمپیئر اے سی ایمپیئر او ہوم کیپیسٹر فریکوینسی ٹمپریچر فریکوینسی اینڈ ڈیوٹی سائیکل کانٹینیوٹی ڈائوڈ دین اٹ کین میئر ریلیٹو وولٹیج ایل سی ڈی بیک ڈسپلے دین آٹو پاور آف بیٹری انڈیکیشن اینڈ ہولڈ فنکشن اٹ کین میئر اپ ٹو سکس ہنڈریڈ وولٹ ایف وی چیک دس ملٹی میٹر فلوک ون سیون نائن It can measure up to 1000 volt. DC voltage 400 millivolt to 600 volt. AC 4 volt to 600 volt. DC current 400 microampere to 10 ampere plus minus. AC current 400 microampere to 10 ampere. Resistance 400 ohm to 40 mega ohm. Very wide range. Normal multimeters measure up to 20 mega but it can measure up to 40 mega. Frequency from 1 Hz to 10 MHz. Very nice. Capacitance range 4 nF to 100 MF. Then it have temperature range. Duty cycle 0.1% to 99.9%. It is very useful feature. Then it have continuity with beeper. Yes. Diode test. Yes. Power source 1.5 volt AA. two cells so let's check multimeter it comes with category 3 probes it have temperature probe and it have capacitor jack and uh, transistor jack here it have a battery pack two cells 1.5 volt aa cell size ac volt and dc volt we can press this button hertz to check hertz from dc check hertz then duty cycle percentage then we can shift from this point button dc and ac so it will switch at the same point it will measure dc voltage and its ac voltage resistance here it is in diode mode in continuity and ohm mode so we can swap the functions from here capacitance frequency here we can check duty cycle for the hertz at this range at ac voltage it can measure up to 1 kilohertz but here 10 megahertz current we have to swap the leads microampere dc ac and here we can swap between dc and ac dc and ac milliampere dc and ac ampere dc ac temperature and here we have off function if we want to measure temperature we have to use this temperature probe at these two points so let's check at dc range we can check dc voltage it is point it is 3.68 volt and if we see it is giving minus so minus sign will indicate that this end is reverse so we have to swap the leads black lead at negative terminal and red lead at positive terminal so there is no negative sign it is giving 3.68 volt we have protective protective caps on the test probes for more safety it will determine the polarity automatically now i am connecting external power supply to check the voltage it is 2.3 3 volt then it will change the range automatically this time the dot is here it is 2 point and our decimal is in 
three points three digits then the accuracy will drop and it will go into two digits 4.1 13, 14 when we will move at 40 volt so its accuracy will shift to one digit so now it will read up to 600 volt it is DC and if you want to read measure AC voltage just press AC function insert the leads here it is giving 236 volt press at the same point DC it will not measure here it is measuring AC voltage now we can press frequency button it is giving 50 Hertz when we will press this button again so it is giving 49.3 percent 2 percent duty cycle voltage 50 Hertz frequency duty cycle 49.3 percent so here we can check frequency and now we can check the frequency in DC voltage for example I will use 100 Hertz it is 0 0.903 volt and frequency is 99.98 Hertz and if I put 50 Hertz the frequency dropped 49.9 Hertz 99 Hertz and if I put 1000 kilohertz 1 megahertz it is not reading here and if I put 1 kilohertz so maximum range 1 kilohertz to measure the frequency in AC or DC voltage that is 1 kilohertz that is too much because normal multimeters we use up to 50 hertz or 400 hertz are special case 900, 900 hertz so this multimeter will measure the voltage having frequency 1 kilohertz that's nice here we have function relative voltage what is the relative voltage we will give a reference voltage for example I give 5.22 volt relative so it will show a relative DC voltage sign now here are 5.22 volt available and I pressed relative voltage indication so it will check the voltage the difference between the relative voltage the reference point reference voltage so it is 1.54 volt down I am now I decrease the voltage 3.67 volt but it is reading minus 1.5 volt when I will go back to the same reading when I will reach back at the same value 5.22 volt it will say it is zero because I give a reference other than 0 volt to this multimeter so it will check either the voltage are up or down from the given reference so this feature is very useful when working on a power supply for example I applied 2.99 volt and I put reference voltage now it will go to 0 the voltage are available but now this multimeter now we, we can check I will decrease the voltage and it will show how much value is decreased from the relative function from the reference point so we set a reference point other than zero so it says it is 0 0.327 volt that means the reference value minus this voltage so it is 2.6 volt and if I will go up from the reference point it will show how much the value is more than the reference voltage it is 0 0.344 volt more than the reference value than the relative value so it is relative function in this multimeter this function is useful in DC voltage when we want to check a voltage when we give a reference voltage 
that here must be 3 volt so it will give plus or minus how much there is a drop or there is more voltage than the reference value then there is ohm function just only set to ohm 6.8 ohm and it is giving exactly 6.8 ohm so it is 6 r 8 81 r 6.81 so it is giving 6.81 ohm so it is reading 46.1 ohm because it is wire wound so it is 47 ohm resistance 47 ohm and multimeter is reading 46 ohm that is nice it is 820 so it is 820 that means 820 ohm or it is giving 0 0.822 kilo ohm it is 4.7 k the multimeter is reading 4.64 that is within the margin so we have a fixed resistance it is 111 point 111 so it is reading exactly the same value 111.12 so it is measuring exactly the same resistance which is mentioned on the component it is 111.111 ohms 0.05 percent so it is measuring exactly within the tolerance 111.1 then we have diode and continuity in diode mode it will give a forward voltage and in reverse bias it will give open leads because the diode is reverse bias here it is forward bias and it is giving junction voltage then we have continuity so in continuity mode we can measure the continuity of any component for any wire any piece of wire we can check continuity like that then we have capacitance for capacitance it is best to test the shortest leads we can measure the capacitance here but here it will not give a good reading because the wire will involve in the capacitance measurement so we have to insert the capacitance jack in and common in common so we can connect capacitor like that so it will measure the exact value of the capacitor it is 74.4 microfarad so we can connect capacitor it is giving 1.052 microfarad so it is 1 microfarad so it is within the range it is 1.33 nanofarad so we can check capacitors like that then we have frequency option in frequency option if I will put 1 hertz it is giving 0.999 that is exactly 1 hertz one megahertz it is giving 999 kilohertz that is exactly one megahertz if I put 9 megahertz at 10 megahertz it is its maximum limit it is 9.999 megahertz so that is excellent and we can check the duty cycle it is 71 percent and if I set duty cycle it is from 50 ohm termination duty cycle 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो ड्यूटी साइकिल इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ड्यूटी साइकिल सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट सो इट इज गिविंग सेवेंटी सेवन परसेंट दैट्स कूल दैट्स वेरी नाइस देन वी कैन चेक माइक्रो एम्पियर्स जस्ट मूव दिस लीड टू एम्पियर सॉकेट टू मई द करंट we have to connect load in series with the multimeter so it is measuring 0.8 microampere i applied positive voltage to load and the second end of the load is connected to multimeter and multimeter black lead is connected to the socket and it is measuring 0.8 microampere so now i will increase the voltage so it is Measuring the current, we can move to milliamperes. It is point three six. Here it is. It was measuring three point six microampere. When we will move to milliampere, it will change the digit point three six. And if ampere, it is point zero three six milliampere. So here we can increase the voltage. to change the current so it is increasing at the same point we can measure ac ampere and dc ampere just we have to swap this switch and we can measure ac milliamperes ac microamperes just we have to change the sub menu then we have hold function for example for dc voltage i am checking voltage here it is 6.2 volt and if i press the hold function now i remove the leads but the reading is hold press again so it will go to normal the reading will remain on the display if we discuss its price it is very cheap with compared to other multimeters this brand proskit it is very within margin if you see its price it is 16 dollars 16.23 dollars from amazon we can compare the sites and if we see some other site it is 20 dollar 60 to 20 dollars 30 dollar 25 dollars maximum so we can select this product and if we see some sites with uh, taxes maybe it is in this country it have taxes so it will charge me about 41 dollars but if you have not tax or uh, you can explore local market that is a uh, very nice and it's very nice tool friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it up thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh